The poetry selection today is from a book um, that I will read with the permission of the publisher, Candlewick Press. Hello from my front porch. It's Miss Rachel from the William Jeans Library and we're celebrating April. It's a beautiful day, so I thought I would do our poetry reading outside today. Um, so if there's a little bit of noise, from traffic or dogs or lawnmowers or people walking by. I apologize, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna read from a really special book today. It's called Out of Wonder, Poems Celebrating Poets. So it's a collection of poems. Um, some of them are by Kwame Alexander, some of them are by Chris Colderly, and some of them are by Marjorie Wentworth. They are all collected together, and each poem in this book is celebrating another poet in some way. It's illustrated by Aqua, Aqua, yes, that's right, Holmes. And um, the three different sections in the book are, the poems are divided into three different types by the style of the poet that they are celebrating. Um, the second part is called In Your Shoes. Um, it's about the experience that is expressed in the poems by different poets. And the third part is called Thank You. And it is um, a genuine thanks and celebration of the specific poets. So I'm gonna read you a poem, uh, one from each section. And it was really hard for me to choose because um, a lot of the poets being celebrated in this book are some of my favorites. I'm going to include um, with this post um, a resource that you can go to where you can see a lot more from this book if you're interested um, because you can't check it out at the library right now. But if you like this book and you wanna see some more, there is a place that you can go and find some more about it before the library opens again. So the first section of the book is called Got Style. Um, and what Kwame Alexander has written about that part is this. Poets love to make up their own rules about writing. That's what makes it so much fun. Sometimes E.E. E. Cummings and Nikki Giovanni use ellipses to separate ideas and lowercase letters at the beginning of sentences. Ellipses are dot, 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 in case you're wondering. Langston Hughes, who loved jazz, was a master of repetition, rhythm, rhyming couplets, and quatrains. The poems in this section pay tribute to the poets being celebrated by adopting their styles and rhythms. So, in this section, I'm gonna to read to you a poem celebrating E.E. E. Cummings. This poem is written by Kwame Alexander. And I'm gonna read it to you first, and then I'll show you the beautiful illustration. I like your I like my shoes when they are with your shoes. Mostly the comes, leastly the goes. I carry your footsteps, one, two, three, four, in between today, tomorrow, again, and again, and again. I like to feel the flowers and the follow to your lead. It is such a happy thing to yes the next with you. To walk on magic love rugs beneath the what and why nots, the anythings of. Like every blooming thing, four feet, two hearts, one great, great, great us going. See the two shoes, two pairs of shoes. And you can see the illustration a little bit on the next page, which um, is another one you can check out. 
if you look into this book. I'm going to read a poem from the next section of the book, which is called In Your Shoes. And what Kwame Alexander has to say about this section is this. Sometimes our poems sound like they were written by our favorite poets, and that is okay. It's easy to incorporate the feelings and themes of the poets we are reading into our own work. Walter Dean Myers loved basketball. Judith Wright was a well-known environmentalist. And Billy Collins makes you laugh out loud with his conversational and witty observations on the everyday happenings of life. Using these ideas, we can create our own masterpieces. So Walter Dean Myers and Judith Wright and Billy Collins are some of the artists, the poets celebrated in this section. But the one that I'm going to read for you is called Tambourine Things. And it is celebrating Judith Wright. Oh, I guess he did mention Judith Wright. Yeah, he did. Um, she is the one that was the um, environmentalist and also a poet. This one is written by Chris Colderly in celebration of Judith Wright. And I hope you can hear me okay. There is a lot of traffic, so hopefully it's still coming through clearly. When you find a fossil on Tambourine Mountain, pick it up gently. Wipe away the dust and watch the ghosts dance. Find a big boulder under the sinking sun. Open your hand, hold the relic to your ear. Listen to the ancient silence. Which is the opposite of what's happening on my block right now. But hopefully you can get the idea sit together for the rest of the day. Remember that the shadows once belonged to the elders who made the first footsteps. It's another beautiful illustration by Ekua Holmes. Ekua, Ekua. There is a part of the um, website, the resource that I'm going to show you, that has some of the authors of a variety of books telling you how to pronounce their names. And I practiced her name, and I'm still messing it up. I'm going to keep trying. Aqua, that's it. Aqua Holmes. All right, the third section is called Thank You. And this is what Kwame Alexander has to say about this section. A poet's words can affect us in a highly personal way. A poem can sometimes be so powerful that it might even feel as though the poet is speaking directly to us, as if we are in the middle of a private conversation. When we are moved in such a profound way, we speak back. The poems in this section respond by simply sharing with the world, in words, how awesome we feel about the poet and the poem. And I'm very excited to read a poem from this section because it is exactly the way I feel about probably one of my top two. No, I think she's my top one. Um, poet, Maya Angelou. This poem is written by Kwame Alexander um, to celebrate Maya Angelou. It's called Majestic. Rise into the wonder of daybreak. Be a rainbow in the cloud. Be a free bird on the back of the night wind. Shine on, honey. Walk with joy in your golden feet over crystal seas and purpled mountains. Know your beauty is a thunder, your precious heart unsalable. 
be brave, like a new seed bursting with extraordinary promise. Shine on, honey. No, you are phenomenal. Thank you, my friends, for sharing this beautiful book with me today, Out of Wonder. There are a lot more wonderful poems and amazing illustrations in this book, so I hope that you will check out the resource online, and it will be in the description under this video, so you can click on that link, and you can find out a little bit more about these poems and some of the other ones that are in this book. Happy Poetry Month!